three, two, one. Here we go! Good morning. So my name's Janet Pope. I am the Learning Support Coordinator at, here at Carinya. And we have here Rick Engels here from Wheelchair New South Wales Sports today. Wheelchair Sports New South Wales, I should say. Here for basketball for today for three years, for year one and year two and year four. So thank you for coming today, Rick. My pleasure being here, thank you. So we're here today to give the kids a go at wheelchair basketball so they get to experience the practical side of it. But at the end of the day, we really want to try and keep them out of the chairs by making the right choices out on the roads so they don't end up in a wheelchair for the rest of their life. Sounds like good advice. So not only is it good fun to play wheelchair sports, um, but it's also a really good message to take to the kids today. I really liked what you said about the opportunities that you've had um, internationally in Australia. Could you tell us a bit about that, please? Exactly, certainly. So just because you're in a wheelchair does not mean that life has to stop, that's right. Um, so I've been around to 12, maybe 13 countries and played in four different sports, so basketball, tennis, um, badminton and uh, wheelchair rugby league as well. So it's been really cool being able to do that, yes. Very good, and if someone wanted to know more about you and your experiences, where might they find that information out about you? There's a, a few videos on YouTube of me playing my sports, <coughs> excuse me, um, but otherwise on the Wheelchair Sports New South Wales website, Facebook and all of those channels, um, you'd be able to find more information for sure. Great. Thank you so much for coming along today to give the kids these experiences. It's fantastic. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is Peter Spence reporting for CCS News. We're here at the Infant School K-2 Athletics Carnival. Unfortunately, we're at Plan B because of the rain, but it's working wonderfully all the same. We have activities rotating around and heaps of parents here to enjoy the afternoon with us, which has just been wonderful to see, particularly since it's our first event back really since uh, COVID restrictions in play. Okay, I'm here with one of our parents, Jess Morrissey. So we're here at the Infants Carnival, and this is really a special day for us because it's the first time we've been able to have parents back in the school on this sort of level. What does it mean for you as a parent? I think it's just so valuable to me. Like I remember as a child, my mum coming along to all the events, she was always there cheering me on. And especially after COVID, to come back to have that community, to meet with other parents and to cheer your kids on, I think it's just, it's so lovely, yeah. Okay, now I'm here with Josie Hoffman. Now, Josie, tell us, 
What's it mean to you to be able to be here today with us at our Infants Carnival? Listen, this is incredible. Like what an amazing experience to be able to be here as a parent, to interact and watch your child have so much fun. It's fantastic, thank you. I'm here with one of our teachers, Mr. Misikos. Now, Mr. Misikos, can you introduce yourself to our CCS viewers? Tell us who you are, what you do, how long you've been here. Hi everyone, my name is Marcos Misikos. I'm one of the kindergarten teachers. I did uh, kindergarten black and it's my second year at Karenia. Now, Mr. Misikos, given that you teach kindergarten, how were your kids leading up to this event for today? Yeah, well, every day they were saying to me, how many more days till the Athletics Carnival? So we have our calendar and we put a star at the top and they were counting the days and they were looking forward to it. We were a bit disappointed with the rain, but I think they're having great fun indoors as well. Coming here live from the Zone Gala Day, the soccer one. I've got Sam, me and Joel here, and we've found some girls to interview from the Opens Girls team. So, uh, how's the day been so far? Brilliant. Really, really good, yeah. Yeah? Mm. Uh, Alright, uh, how many games have you played? Have you won any? How would it go? So we played um, three games, yeah, so we won two of them. Done really well. Alright, so we'll bring in Nathan. How you come in, mate? Uh, you play in the under-15s, is that correct? That's correct. Yep. That's correct. Uh, you just had your game against, who was it? Wild. Wild? How'd that go? Oh, two all draw. Ethan, mate, how's your day been so far? Oh yeah, it's been challenging, but been fun. Challenging. What position do you play? Um, normally I play goalkeeper, but I'm in defence because I can't go goalkeeper. Oh, yeah. We're now here with the Opens Girls uh, head coach, Mrs Davis. Mrs Davis, how's the day been so far? Oh Sam, it's been a brilliant day. Uh, the girls are phenomenal, uh, right from the back with Hayley Beck sending it through the backs, through the mids, up to the forwards and uh, slamming it into the goals. Great, great. So now I believe you have a semi-final coming up in just a few short minutes? Yep, yep. we've, we've uh, had a 2-1 loss, a 6-0 win, a 5-0 win, so let's hope to follow that trajectory. Alright, so we were speaking to some of the girls earlier, uh, not to mention your names, Ellen and Abby, and they said the game tactics for most games were just pass the ball to semi. Um, is that going to be the tactic for the semi-final? Uh, actually, no, we don't just boot it and tell Sammy to run. We, we try and go via the wings, send it down the wing, create angles. Uh, if we take it right down that line, Bianca, and send it into Sammy, then she can take a shot. Because there is a bit of speed on the outside. So your tactic, you're saying, is to go around the team and into the middle? Yep, yep, get in behind the defence and let Sammy free. All right, so there we go. Our uh, game's on in roughly 10 minutes, I believe. All right, we'll yep, yep, be there. Be there. All right, we'll come back for some commentary and yeah, good luck, Mr. Davis. Thanks a lot, Sam. Here we go, Alan looking to find someone out wide. No, through the middle. Here we go, Sammy looks to be on here. Sammy with the ball, Sammy. Oh, great wrestle there from the defender and Sammy. Oh. Here we go, Alan with the ball just outside of the box. Is she looking to shoot? She is looking to shoot. Oh, oh. Oh, wonderful oh, goal! Absolutely electrifying goal from the Corinna team. They have pulled up for the occasion. Oh, I cannot believe this. Looks like the game was all gone. But look at that. Great goal from Alan Carter. Um, and it just describes that Corinna opens team. They just don't stop giving up. It's absolutely wonderful. Do you want to have any messages to anyone out there wanting to play soccer, participate in any sports? What, what's your message for today? My message for today is play sport. It's good for you. You'll love it.